Latin is a classical language belonging to the Italic branch of the Indo-European languages. The Latin alphabet is derived from the Etruscan and Greek alphabets. Latin was originally spoken in Latium, Italy. Through the power of the Roman Republic, it became the dominant language, initially in Italy and subsequently throughout the Roman Empire. Vulgar Latin developed into the Romance languages, such as French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and Romanian. Latin and French have contributed many words to the English language. Latin and Greek roots are used in theology, biology, and medicine. By the late Roman Republic, Old Latin had been standardized into Classical Latin. Vulgar Latin was the colloquial form spoken during the same time and attested in inscriptions and the works of comic playwrights like Plautus and Terence. Late Latin is the written language beginning in the 3rd century AD in medieval Latin the language used from the 9th century until the Renaissance, which used Renaissance Latin. Later, early modern Latin and modern Latin evolved. Latin was used as the language of international communication, scholarship, and science until well into the 18th century, when it began to be supplanted by vernaculars. Ecclesiastical Latin remains the official language of the Holy See and the Roman Rite of the Catholic Church. Today, many students, scholars, and members of the Christian clergy speak Latin fluently. It is taught in primary, secondary, and post-secondary educational institutions around the world. Latin is a highly inflected language, with three distinct genders, seven noun cases, four verb conjugations, six tenses, three persons, three moods, two voices, two aspects, and two numbers. Legacy. The Latin language has been passed down through various forms. Inscriptions Some inscriptions have been published in an internationally agreed upon, monumental, multivolume series termed the Corpus Inscriptionum Latinarum. Authors and publishers vary, but the format is about the same. Volumes detailing inscriptions with a critical apparatus stating the provenance and relevant information. The reading and interpretation of these inscriptions is the subject matter of the field of epigraphy. About 270,000 inscriptions are known. Literature, the works of several hundred ancient authors who wrote in Latin have survived in whole or in part, in substantial works or in fragments to be analyzed in philology. They are in part the subject matter of the field of classics. Their works were published in manuscript form before the invention of printing and now exist in carefully annotated printed editions such as the Loeb Classical Library, published by Harvard University Press, or the Oxford Classical Texts, published by Oxford University Press. Latin translations of modern literature such as The Hobbit, Treasure Island, Robinson Crusoe, Paddington Bear, Winnie the Pooh, The Adventures of Tintin, Asterix, Harry Potter, Walter the Farting Dog, Le Petit Prince, Max and Moritz, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, The Cat in the Hat, and A Book of Fairy Tales, Fabuli Mirabola, are intended to garner popular interest in the language. Additional resources include phrase books and resources for rendering everyday phrases and concepts into Latin, such as Meisner's Latin Phrase Book. Linguistics Latin influence in English has been significant at all stages of its insular development. In the medieval period, much borrowing from Latin occurred through ecclesiastical usage established by St. Augustine of Canterbury in the 6th century or indirectly after the Norman conquest through the Anglo-Norman language. From the 16th to the 18th centuries, English writers cobbled together huge numbers of new words from Latin and Greek words. These were dubbed inkhorn terms, as if they had spilled from a pot of ink. Many of these words were used once by the author and then forgotten. Some useful ones, though, survive, such as embibe and extrapolate. Many of the most common polysyllabic English words are of Latin origin through the medium of Old French.
due to the influence of Roman governance and Roman technology on the less developed nations under Roman dominion. Those nations adopted Latin phraseology in some specialized areas, such as science, technology, medicine, and law. For example, the Linnean system of plant and animal classification was heavily influenced by Historia Naturalis, an encyclopedia of people, places, plants, animals, and things published by Pliny the Elder. Roman medicine, recorded in the works of such physicians as Galen, established that today's medical terminology would be primarily derived from Latin and Greek words, the Greek being filtered through the Latin. Roman engineering had the same effect on scientific terminology as a whole. Latin law principles have survived partly in a long list of legal Latin terms. A few international auxiliary languages have been heavily influenced by Latin. Interlingua is sometimes considered a simplified, modern version of the language. Latino sign flexion, popular in the early 20th century, is Latin with its inflections stripped away, among other grammatical changes. Education throughout European history, an education in the classics was considered crucial for those who wished to join literate circles. Instruction in Latin is an essential aspect of classics. In today's world, a large number of Latin students in America learn from Wheelock's Latin, the classic introductory Latin course based on ancient authors. This book, first published in 1956, was written by Frederick Kem, Wheelock, who received a Ph.D. from Harvard University. Wheelock's Latin has become the standard text for many American introductory Latin courses. The Living Latin movement attempts to teach Latin in the same way that living languages are taught, i.e., as a means of both spoken and written communication. It is available at the Vatican and at some institutions in the U.S., such as the University of Kentucky and Iowa State University. The British Cambridge University Press is a major supplier of Latin textbooks for all levels, such as the Cambridge Latin Course Series. It has also published a sub-series of children's texts in Latin by Bell and Forte, which recounts the adventures of a mouse called Minimus. In the United Kingdom, the Classical Association encourages the study of antiquity through various means, such as publications and grants. The University of Cambridge, the Open University, a number of prestigious independent schools, for example Eton and Harrow, and Via Facilis, a London-based charity, do still run Latin courses. In the United States and Canada, the American Classical League supports every effort to further the study of classics. Its subsidiaries include the National Junior Classical League, which encourages high school students to pursue the study of Latin, and the National Senior Classical League, which encourages students to continue their study of the classics into college. The League also sponsors the National Latin Exam. Classicist Mary Beard wrote in the Times Literary Supplement in 2006 that the reason for learning Latin is because of what was written in it. Official status Latin has been or is the official language of European states. Croatia Latin was the official language of Croatian Parliament from the 13th until the 19th century. The oldest preserved records of the parliamentary sessions, held in Zagreb, Croatia, date from 19 April 1273. An extensive Croatian Latin literature exists. Poland, officially recognized and widely used between the 9th and 18th centuries, commonly used in foreign relations and popular as a second language among some of the nobility. Holy See, used in the diocese, with Italian being the official language of Vatican City. History of Latin According to Roman mythology, Latin was established by a tribal people called the Latini some time before the Trojan War. A number of historical phases of the language have been recognized, each distinguished by subtle differences in vocabulary, usage, spelling, morphology, and syntax. There are no hard and fast rules of classification. Different scholars emphasize different features. As a result, the list has variants, as well as alternative names. 
In addition to the historical phases, ecclesiastical Latin refers to the styles used by the writers of the Roman Catholic Church, as well as by Protestant scholars, from late antiquity onward. After the Western Roman Empire fell in A.D. 476 and Germanic kingdoms took its place, the Germanic people adopted Latin as a language more suitable for legal and other formal uses. Old Latin The earliest known form of Latin is Old Latin, which was spoken from the Roman Kingdom to the Middle Republican period and is attested both in inscriptions and in some of the earliest extant Latin literary works, such as the comedies of Plautus and Terence. During this period, the Latin alphabet was devised from the Etruscan alphabet. The writing style later changed from an initial right-to-left or boustrophied into a left-to-right script. Classical Latin during the late Republican into the first years of the Empire, a new Classical Latin arose, a conscious creation of the orators, poets, historians and other literate men, who wrote the great works of classical literature, which were taught in grammar and rhetoric schools. Today's instructional grammars trace their roots to these schools, which served as a sort of informal language academy dedicated to maintaining and perpetuating educated speech. Vulgar Latin philological analysis of archaic Latin works, such as those of Plautus, which contained snippets of everyday speech, indicates that a spoken language, Vulgar Latin by Cicero, existed at the same time as the literate Classical Latin. This informal language was rarely written, so philologists have been left with only individual words and phrases cited by classical authors, as well as those found as graffiti. As vernacular Latin was free to develop on its own, there is no reason to suppose that the speech was uniform either diachronically or geographically. On the contrary, Romanized European populations developed their own dialects of the language. The decline of the Roman Empire meant a deterioration in educational standards that brought about late Latin, a post-classical stage of the language seen in Christian writings of the time. This language was more in line with the everyday speech not only because of a decline in education, but also because of a desire to spread the word to the masses. Despite dialect variation the languages of Spain, France, Portugal, and Italy retained a remarkable unity in phonological forms and developments. Bolstered by the stabilizing influence of their common Christian culture, it was not until the Moorish conquest of Spain in 711 cut off communications between the major Romance regions that the languages began to diverge. Seriously, the vulgar Latin dialect that would later become Romanian diverged somewhat more from the other varieties due to its being largely cut off from the unifying influences in the western part of the empire. One way to determine whether a Romance language feature was in Vulgar Latin is to compare it with its parallel in Classical Latin. If it was not preferred in Classical Latin, then it most likely came from the invisible contemporaneous Vulgar Latin. For example, Romance, horse came from Latin cabalus. However, Classical Latin used equus. Cabalus therefore was most likely the spoken form. Vulgar Latin began to diverge into distinct languages by the 9th century at the latest, when the earliest extant Romance writings begin to appear. They were, throughout this period, confined to everyday speech, as, subsequent to late Latin, medieval Latin was used for writing. Medieval Latin Medieval Latin is the written Latin in use during that portion of the post-classical period when no corresponding Latin vernacular existed. The spoken language had developed into the various incipient Romance languages. However, in the educated and official world Latin continued without its natural spoken base. Moreover, this Latin spread into lands that had never spoken Latin, such as the Germanic and Slavic nations. It became useful for international communication between the member states of the Holy Roman Empire and its allies. Without the institutions of the Roman Empire that had supported its uniformity, medieval Latin lost its linguistic cohesion. 
For example, in classical Latin some anerum are used as auxiliary verbs in the perfect and pluperfect passive, which are compound tenses. Medieval Latin might use fui and fuerum instead. Furthermore, the meanings of many words have been changed and new vocabularies have been introduced from the vernacular. Identifiable individual styles of classically incorrect Latin prevail. Renaissance Latin The Renaissance briefly reinforced the position of Latin as a spoken language, through its adoption by the Renaissance humanists often led by members of the clergy. They were shocked by the accelerated dismantling of the vestiges of the classical world and the rapid loss of its literature. They strove to preserve what they could and restore Latin to what it had been, introducing the practice of producing revised editions of the literary works that remained by comparing surviving manuscripts. They corrected medieval Latin out of existence no later than the 15th century and replaced it with more formally correct versions supported by the scholars of the rising universities, who attempted, through scholarship, to discover what the classical language had been. Early modern Latin During the early modern age, Latin still was the most important language of culture in Europe. Therefore, until the end of the 17th century the majority of books and almost all diplomatic documents were written in Latin. Afterwards, most diplomatic documents were written in French and later just native or agreed upon languages. Modern Latin The largest organization that retains Latin in official and quasi-official contexts is the Catholic Church. Latin remains the language of the Roman Rite. The Tridentine Mass is celebrated in Latin, although the Mass of Paul VI is usually celebrated in the local vernacular language. It can be and often is said in Latin, in part or whole, especially at multilingual gatherings. It is the official language of the Holy See, the primary language of its public journal, the Acta Apostolici Sedis, and the working language of the Roman Rota. Vatican City is also home to the world-only ATM that gives instructions in Latin. In the Pontifical University's postgraduate courses of canon law are taught in Latin and papers should be written in the same language. In the Anglican Church, after the publication of the Book of Common Prayer of 1559, a Latin edition was published in 1560 for use at universities such as Oxford and the leading public schools where the liturgy was still permitted to be conducted in Latin and there have been several Latin translations since. Most recently a Latin edition of the 1979 USA Anglican Book of Common Prayer has appeared. Some films of ancient settings, such as Sebastian and the Passion of the Christ, have been made with dialogue in Latin for the sake of realism. Occasionally, Latin dialogue is used because of its association with religion or philosophy. In such film, TV series as The Exorcist and Lost, Subtitles are usually shown for the benefit of those who do not understand Latin. There are also songs written with Latin lyrics. The libretto for the opera Oratorio Oedipus Rex by Igor Stravinsky is in Latin. Switzerland adopts the country's Latin short name, Helvetia, on coins and stamps. Since there is no room to use all of the nation's four official languages, for a similar reason it adopted the International Vehicle and Internet Code CH, which stands for Confoderatia Helvetica, the country's full Latin name. Many organizations today have Latin mottos, such as Semper Paratus, the motto of the United States Coast Guard, and Semper Fidelis the motto of the United States Marine Corps. Several of the states of the United States also have Latin mottos, such as, Qui transgilit sustinet, the state motto of Connecticut, ad astra per aspera, that of Kansas, see Quarish Peninsula Mammonum, circumspice, that of Michigan, Salus Populi Suprema Lexesto, that of Missouri, Esse Quam Videri, that of North Carolina, Six Emper Tyrannis, that of Virginia, and Montaigne Semper Liberi, that of West Virginia. Another Latin motto is Parajua ad Astra, the motto of the Royal Air Force. 
Some schools adopt Latin mottos, for example Harvard University's motto is Veritas, meaning, Veritas was the goddess of truth, a daughter of Saturn, and the mother of virtue. Similarly Canada's motto, Amari Uscad Mare, and most provincial mottos are also in Latin. Occasionally, some media outlets broadcast in Latin, which is targeted at enthusiasts. Notable examples include Radio Bremen in Germany, YLE Radio in Finland, and Vatican Radio and Television, all of which broadcast news segments and other material in Latin. There are many websites and forums maintained in Latin by enthusiasts. The Latin Wikipedia has more than 100,000 articles written in Latin. Latin is taught in many high schools, especially in Europe and the Americas. It is most common in British public schools and grammar schools, the Italian Liscia Classico and Liscia Scientifico, the German Humanistische Gymnasium, and the Dutch Gymnasium. In the United States, it is taught in Boston Latin School, English High School of Boston, Boston Latin Academy, Central High School of Philadelphia, and Baltimore City College.